one of the things that truly bothers me when I make a video like this is the people who are ungodly fixated on me being the problem because I dare look at one evil piece of shit and say, hey, evil piece of shit, I'm going to disrespect you. I'm going to laugh at your misfortunes, not because of your skin, not because of what you feel inside, not because of your sexuality, but because you're an evil piece of shit and you deserve to be mocked and laughed at. And for some reason, there are weirdos who do this groupthink thing and they have this idea that, I'm speaking of everybody in the group. No, 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 no. I don't generalize. I do phrase sentences in such a way that would make you think I'm generalizing everybody, and that's poor on my part, and I'm sorry for that. But when I do these videos speaking on dumb people, it's not for everybody else who just so happen to have a similarity. It's for that one dumbass person and anybody who would happen to support it. So when I saw this tweet, from ACLU, my mind began to go numb. The state of Florida never provided medical necessary gender affirming care to Dwayne Owen, causing the bastard enormous suffering and violating the bastard's right to be free from cruel and unusual punishment for the more than 30 years the bastard was in custody. Now, you might be wondering, why am I not using pronouns? Why am I not referring to this bastard as a she? Well, number one, not only is it because this bastard is a criminal, not only because this bastard is a sick human being, but because this bastard is a murderer. One of Florida's longest held death row inmates was executed this evening, almost 40 years after he murdered two victims in Palm Beach County. Dwayne Owens raped and killed a 14 year old babysitter in Delray Beach in March 1984, then raped and killed a 38 year old mother of two that May in Boca Raton. He died by lethal injection this evening at 614. Owen, 62 years old, uttered no final words. Terry Parker witnessed the execution at the state prison in Stark, and she spoke with the sister of the teenager Dwayne Owen murdered, who said justice has finally been served. When the curtain rose to reveal the execution chamber, Dwayne Owen's head was shaved and his eyes closed. When asked if he had any last words, he said no. 14 minutes later, he was pronounced dead. Under a gray and rain-filled sky, Florida executed Dwayne Owen inside Florida State Prison 39 years after he savagely murdered a teenage babysitter and a single mother. With this rain today, I was really hoping I was going to see a rainbow. Debbie Johnson says her mother always said a rainbow was a message from her sister Karen Slattery, murdered by Owen in 1984 as the 14-year-old babysat two children in Delray Beach. Owen confessed to stabbing Karen and raping her. And two months later, he raped and killed Georgiana Warden of Boca Raton with a hammer while her two small children slept nearby. He has been on death row since his convictions, and despite a series of appeals and insanity defenses, Governor Ron DeSantis signed his death warrant this year. When the curtain went up, it was extremely emotional because this was it. Outside in the thunder and lightning, a group of protesters held a vigil for Owen, saying he was mentally ill and should not have been put to death. This case could have been over with a life sentence without the possibility of parole 30 years ago. But for Johnson and Warden's daughters, who have lived agonizing decades of loss and pain, this was finally justice. The Slattery family may now close Karen's book, put it on a shelf, and move forward. Owen was the fourth person to be executed in the state of Florida this year. I'm sorry, but in the grand scheme of things, I don't care about your skin color. I don't care about your sexuality. I don't care about your gender. I don't care what you got between your legs. I don't care what you got on the top of your head. I don't care what pronouns you go by. I'm treating you all as basic humans who walk this earth with different beliefs and different set of circumstances. And if you violate human right, why would I possibly respect you as an individual? This is not me saying all transgenders are hunting down kids and killing them and violating their bodies. No, I'm looking at one sick bastard laughing at
misfortunes and laughing at anybody who's going to sit here and play defense and try to say, oh, this person was supposed to be provided medical necessary gender affirming care. You a rapist, you a murderer. So on what planet would I ever care about anything that is a necessity to you? You're sick. You're a bastard. You will be burning in hell. And I'm glad you were lethally injected because you are sick. For the people who will sit here and still tell me that, no, that's not fair. No, that's not, that's not how you're supposed to do that. No, you, you blah, 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 blah. Fuck you. Stop playing defense for the people who don't deserve it. Stop playing like you some wannabe hero for these motherfuckers. Stop that. And fuck you for even trying that shit. Because it's pointless. It's forever going to be pointless for anybody to think it's possible to defend somebody who don't fucking deserve it.